definitely. I just, you know, I just try to say when I go to a tournament, I try to elevate myself, play with a different age group, play three, eight, eight, three, four age groups up, and I try to challenge myself to, you know, the best baseball there is. And you know, every time I just go out there, I just plan on, you know, being the best player I am. And you know, I've had some success, and I'm just grateful for God for that. You know, baseball is mental. You know, if you think you're good, then you know it's gonna. After a while, it's gonna show up that you are good. So I just try to keep keep it confident, keep it keep at a level ahead, and just have fun with it, and you know, just play like a game. Cause at the end of the day, baseball is just a kid's game. Get ready for games and stuff like that. Yeah. What are we doing today? Just a little hitting, a little fielding. I got practice with my team. So that's all I got today. So 34, 36. Working out with the big bat. You swing those in games? No. No way. No way. I can't get my hands to the ball with this. five times, see if I can do it like a little back control drill. See if I can do it now. See if I can do it now. One more time. 
ain't gonna The game back? Yeah. Got this last year at ECP. East Coast Pro. These gloves, shout out to Marcus Strowman for these for these drip. And BBG for giving me these. These are great. Is that your favorite bat? Huh? Is that your favorite bat? Um it turned to my favorite bat towards the end of the year last year. So very I, I love Tucci, like the brand. Probably as premium you can get. For bats, it's definitely in that conversation. So, you know, I love tuches. I got about six, seven tuches at home. <laughs> I love swing it's just staying in your legs hard here soft here. just trying to keep my legs intact make sure they're strong because that's the strongest part of my body definitely How many balls do you think you got, Carl? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. <clears throat> I got, well, with this I got an hour and a half's worth. That's, that's how I count them. So I can, store, I can throw nonstop for an hour and a half with these balls. Plus I got probably twice as more in the car and even more at home, so. Does your arm ever get tired? <laughs> Not my arm, but the rest of me does. My back, my knee. <clears throat> my arm can go forever. The rest of me, not so much. <laughs> what are you uh, focusing on when you're hitting today? Just keep going middle away. And I don't want to focus on pulling the ball because, you know, high school ball is more of curveballs and change ups. So I just got to stay on the baseball, stay in my legs, and everything. So I'm just trying to work on make sure my lower half is here. Just making sure I go middle away. Sure. The rotation is, is a 34, 36. This is a 33, 33. This is a 32 and a half. <laughs> 29 and a half. And this is a 32, 29 or 30. So I just go down from bats to, you know, I feel comfortable. Make sure I'm warmed up, go couple rounds with this, then a couple rounds with this. And I go, I flip between these two towards my last, my last rounds. So, so yeah. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my guy Lupe at Aggies Baseball. One of the greatest coaches I've ever played with, for sure. Where's the spot to be at in Atlanta? There's a lot of spots to be at. I'm telling you, like, it's just, it's a different, it's a different vibe. When you can go to the east side of Atlanta, it's a different vibe from the west side. We're going to the north side and, you know, it's just, it's just, it's whatever, you, you have a preference 
people have preferences and I like the west side the better because I grew up there. But yeah, you can go to Georgia Aquarium, um, Coca-Cola, World of Coca-Cola. Um, just so many places that you can go. A lot of food places, whatever type of style of food that you like. Atlanta has everything. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a, I'm a guy for wings. Chicken wings, I can eat them all day. I actually just had some before I came here, so. I'm a chicken wing guy. How do you get those legs so big, man? Hitting baseballs with him <laughs> all day. Every, every time he makes me stand my legs, do this all day. My, my legs just got big from working out with my guy Carl, that's all. How'd you uh, meet Carl? Um, actually, you know, for at a camp down in California at the Urban Youth Academy, I met him when I was like, probably two, three years old? Two, two three years old? Yeah. Yeah, when I was still in diapers, I met Carl, so yeah, for sure. You're playing baseball two years old? I was, my, see, I, all my, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an athletic family. All my brothers play baseball, so that's how I got into it. So my brothers, were, we were out in a camp in um, California, and we saw Carl there. So my brother was like seven at the time. So I was just out there, going out there just playing baseball with him. Yeah, I started early. Yeah, he moved down to Georgia when I was 13. Ever since then, I've been working out with him almost every weekend, every week. Whenever I can, whenever I call him, he's there to work out, working out. His arm never falls off. Oh yeah, he's never, <laughs> never seen an arm injury from him. So yeah, he's definitely a blessing. Could uh, Carl strike you out if he was on the mound? Oh, for sure. <laughs> He's like, he knows all my tendencies. If he, if he was a coach on like, if I, if I played for another team, he was a coach, I'd probably go over three or three Ks. <laughs> Definitely would. He got some zip behind the um, L screen too. Yeah, he's spying you up for a couple pitches. Oh yeah, he was. <laughs> oh yeah, he was. Heard me saying good pitch, Carl. <laughs> he's dirty sometimes, for sure. I mean, when I hit the ball in the sweet spot, just feels like heavy. I say beautiful every time, just like, Every time I hit that sweet spot, I gotta say something. That's my biggest thing. I just wanna keep on hitting that sweet spot and find a rhythm. What's the uh, go-to song before you play baseball? The biggest Young Thug fan there ever is. So I would say Light It Up by Young Thug. Oh yeah, that's my favorite song. I bump it every time before every game. I would say he's the godfather of rap. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> He gets some food to work in. I head over to practice. All the guys in my class, you know, all the top guys, I know pretty much every guy we work out and just do everything together. But like, not really competition. We, we kind of cheer everybody on, for sure. Because, you know, all of us have one goal to be big leaguer, be a Hall of Famer. So it's not really any competition. I was, my guy, RJ, Austin, he was gonna come with me, but you know, he had school. You did? Yeah. <laughs> you got seven? Yeah. You can't throw too hard. My arm's gonna blow out. I haven't pitched since I was 12 years old, so. Do whatever I can when I go to high school ball. Help my team win.
shit just work. Then it's gonna work? No way, no way. <laughs> you gotta put it through the circle. Oh yeah, I got you. I will. Almost. Almost. baseball day before a game you know a big game against I guess somebody you know wake up you know get some work done work out with my guy Carl um, go to the field you know a little pregame you go to the game ball out three for three three home runs make a diving catch and make good plays and no errors that's a perfect day for me for sure what's your uh, favorite memory T your favorite memory baseball or just regular life um back in 2019 I was up in Mexico with the USA national team in Panama. We played Panama for the championship. That was probably one of the best games I ever played. I think I went two for three with a double. I had three runs scored and it was just fun. I had, had a lot of fun. That was probably my best memory. It was a lot of fans there. And it was just fun playing against a team from a different country. So you're smooth, man. You're swinging smooth. You're freaking dancing out here in the infield. So how important is like rhythm to you and, and how you play? I try to think of everything like a dance, like just playing, just moving along to a song and, you know, smooth feet, get you paid for sure. When I say it was probably about three to six, I was kind of a coach's kid to be honest with you. You know, my dad, I was on my dad's little t-ball team and he was like, you know, he was always on me whenever I did okay or bad. So I was kind of a coach's kid. When I, you know, when I was playing, my brothers we used to, you know, fight about who hit the most home runs or, you know, who, who's the best player. So when I came, like, probably seven, nine, from seven to on, you know, I kind of toned my game up. You know, my dad kind of took his hands off me. He always taught me to, I got to do things by myself. And, you know, he, from there on, I just went along with it. And, you know, I've been the player I am today. You know, I'm a brave, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Dodgers fan, matter of fact. So it would be fun playing with the Dodgers playing with that type of organization. You know, it looks like they have a lot of fun now on the field. But definitely, you know, probably playing with the Braves. You know, I'm a hometown team, try to be like a hometown player. That would be a, kind of a dream that I'll probably look forward to, hopefully. But, you know, whatever team that picks me, for sure, I'm, I'm, you, got, you got the best of me, for sure. I mean, I have practice later on the day. You know, I have practice probably from three to six. And my, today, my um, older brother, Tavell, plays at Georgia Tech. He has, he has a game up there, so I'll try to show my face a little bit, see, see, some, see, see some innings, and you know, see if my brother get a chance to you know, play good. And definitely, I'm, after that, I'll get home, get on the game with my friends, play a little Madden, play a little MLB, play a little 2K. So yeah, that's basically what I have for the rest of the day. And also, talk to my girl, for sure. <laughs> uh, but I think people don't really understand how, how uh, passionate and sensitive he is about things, you know, and, and he cares a lot about, you know, other people and uh, like one of the things I've been, I really like about him is you know, I like to bring younger kids around him and without even prompting him, he'll, he'll, he'll um, migrate to the kids and, and try to help the younger kid. <clears throat> just like somebody tried to help him. So, uh, so his sensitivity is probably what a lot of people don't really know about him. Uh, well, I've, I've gone through this with a few kids. Uh, Dominic Smith, Aaron Hicks, J.B. Crawford, those type of guys. And basically what you do with those guys is you try to prepare them for the next level, mentally. Uh, physically, there's not a whole lot I can teach him, especially you know with his hitting, because he's a better hitter now than I ever was. Uh, so what, you, what I try to do is, one, teach him to be his own coach, number one, and then also teach him to start now, start acting like a big leader. 
prepare to be a big leaguer and focused on being a big leaguer and don't get caught up with what's going on now and what's going on around you because you know high school kids have a tendency to get caught up in stuff that doesn't even matter <clears throat> you know so those are things I try to I uh, try to teach him like I said I was uh, he's he's really similar to Dominic Smith at the same stage uh, both of them were the best hitters in the country like I said it, it was nothing I could teach Dom other than how to how to be and act like a professional and that's that's what I try to the main things I try to focus on him with tomorrow try to act like a professional now because you're gonna need it at the next level where do you see him in the future as a baseball player or even just as a person uh, well, if he stays healthy, there's no question he's going to be a big leaguer. Uh, again, he's, and I can see him doing s similar things that Dominic Smith is doing right now. You know, Dominic Smith has an organization called uh, BBG, Baseball Generations, and basically he's just helping kids who were in his situation when he was in high school. And I can see Tamar doing those same types of things, you know, once he gets to the big leagues and gets that recognition and, and you know, a little, a little more pull. So. Uh, they're, they're similar kids, I hope they're a lot alike on and off the field. So that's what I see him, besides being a big leaguer, a star in the big leagues, I can see him doing some stuff like that for his community and for other kids. Are you going to ice your arm later? Not my arm, I'm going to ice my back. <laughs> my arm's fine, my back's killing me. <laughs>